Hi everyone, it's December 6th and you are here at the DEI Working Group for Chaos. Really happy to see everybody. Uh, it's our last meeting. Well, that's actually on our agenda, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna jump ahead of myself, but um, quick reminder, of course, this as all meetings at Chaos are under our Chaos Code of Conduct. So keep that in mind. And of course, cameras on off, we do not care at all. As you all already know, and you will hear the ripping of the bed, the dog bed behind me, because she is completely destroying it. Can you hear it? Yeah, she's destroying it right now. So I'm puppy sitting for those who did not hear that earlier. Yeah, so you, she might make an appearance as she has done in previous meetings. So anyway, um, let's get into it. Oh, did I cut you off? Who did, who did I cut off? Anybody? Nobody, I just muted. There were people talking outside my door. Oh, okay. So I cut off the people outside your door. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and you should invite them in. They should come join our chaos meeting. They're not so, invited. They're not invited? <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, this is our last meeting of 2023. Um, the next meeting is January 11th. Um, if you had copied this meeting into your personal calendar, as some folks do, then that will not show up. So just keep that in mind, um, just adjust as needed, uh, or else just come next week and show up by yourself. That's that's a thing you can do. Um, actually, you can't because we are using <laughs> we're using the Zoom um, channel as a uh, uh, to record these uh, onboarding courses, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, let's start with the the EI project badging update I think Daniel said he left these um, async updates but Marco's here as well so Marco do you want to talk a little bit about this part right here I don't really know any anything more than the 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 IY file that's it's now part of the GitLab code base so that's that has been merged the uh I guess yesterday or two days ago not really sure but yeah the the i the e i yeah that file uh, is now part of the GitLab code base that's amazing amazing holy cow that is amazing oh I love it. And I'm assuming we could use this as an example to others if they're looking for an example. I think this is yeah brilliant. Django. I think Django will be going through, I think their repos or their DEI.md file would be on GitHub, would be my guess. I think so. Um, and I'm not sure if they've completely finished it. I think they have. I okay. need to reach back out to Sarah just to check. Uh, it felt like it was getting approved. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. This it was okay funny. to put at the top level. Such great work by the GitLab team. Thank you all. Yay, Daniel. Um, any, um, okay, this says any updates on review for adding GitLab to badging sites so we can apply. So oh. I am not sure, uh, I don't see Enoch on here. Uh, I can, I, I can, uh, I can take that. Okay. So, the, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm just, I'm just processing the question. Sorry. This question, Ruth, is Marco had issued a couple pull requests to just include, um, GitLab as a platform by which somebody could apply for the badge. And so okay, yes. that's what yeah. this is. Yeah. Um, so um, this has been merged. Um, but one thing is, and, and this is even relating to the next agenda item, right? Um, we had like, for example, we had like the previous design for the, before the switch from all in, you know, back to chaos, we had the whole design and the whole branding assets with um with um all in stuff so we're trying to move um the website design and i think that the the pull request correct me marco if i'm wrong was um the the change was done on the previous design right like the yeah it lab functionality 
it was done on the previous design yes so um while enoch is trying to like do the um updates for the server and just move everything um, we also have a front-end team and a design team that's trying to update the design to fit in to remove all the context about all in you know trying to remove um the all in um, open source occurrences in the design um so like um that is also like it's making i think it's making the pr um like there are some changes that are happening in ford and then it's um there's some like backlog as well. So one is we're updating the design. Um and I know Enoch is also working on some other things um on the server end to kind of like remove um to switch badging the all in open source back to badging the chaos or community. So we're still working on smoothening and that process, but um Enoch, I'll tell Enoch to like kind of like give more context on the PR to um drop like an update on his end on the PR. But yeah, that's where that is at, right? We're trying to update our website and update the branding. I added the Figma link so we can just all see what um, that's going to look like and bring together the um two project event version and project version together um, and have it at one place. So but I'll let Enoch know to add in context on that merge request or request rather mm -hmm. yeah because i see all the prs that i open for the front end have been merged but yeah i think that it won't make it to the live version of the website yeah. until the yeah i think he's using yes he's using a, a different branch to just mm -hmm. test things out and then um he won't merge it to main because i think it's going to interrupt the work that um the front end folks are doing um, so. mm -hmm. Yeah, and the last PR that's actually for uh, left for uh, from from the ones that I opened is for the backend to add GitLab as a uh, provider for the uh, for the badging uh, repositories. So yeah, yeah, that I I guess once the design is completed, then that will get merged as well. Otherwise, the button that has already been merged into the front end won't work so yeah yeah uh, marco enoch um, had a question and i haven't been at the last couple of monday morning meetings because it's not a great time for me and um so i think once enoch and i can coordinate and i put some comments in chat i think this will will fly through this pretty quickly mm -hmm. i think there are there are pieces i didn't know uh, and there are pieces enoch doesn't know and so mm -hmm. I think I think the two of us together have to talk to both be comfortable that the others looked at their part and that we covered all of the things that we need to. Um, so I'm sorry it's taking so long. It's an unusually long period of time, kind of born of the nature of what we created and how we created it. Yeah, don't worry. I, I think that we choose not really the worst possible time frame to do this, but with all the <laughs> migration between <laughs> all in and, and chaos, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I pinged Enoch uh, once again just now. I haven't heard from him since this meeting last week, so hopefully he gets my ping this time. But I'm sure he's pretty busy because he's also coming to the United States in January, so that's the other dynamic there, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Sean, do you think there are questions Ina could maybe put in GitHub or like call them out specifically so we could maybe do this asynchronously? If there are questions, are they questions for Marco or? Yeah, you know, I think they're questions. So I don't know. Um, like I pinged him that, you know, I understood he had some questions about the API that he wanted me to look at. I, I asked him what they were um, and his communication with me. Um, Yes, I guess it was a week ago, Wednesday in the afternoon was um, trying to arrange a meeting and I responded, but he didn't respond to that message. So I just messaged him again. I, I, I think he's, so in, I think, I don't know what he next questions are. <laughs> I've, I've asked him for asynchronous and um, he wants to talk and I, I kind of understand because um, it's, uh, he's wanting to make sure the parts that he doesn't understand are covered. And, but I don't yeah. know what parts he doesn't understand. <laughs> well, if yeah. you have any questions, 
Yeah, Feel enough money to make the meeting very soon because I just kind of ping them so we can just like you know go back to this. Uh, okay. Him. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Um. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. So it looks like that covered these updates and also this website update. Is that right? Or Ruth, was there more? Yeah, we can just like look at it too. Oh, yeah, click on that. Um, the Figma. It's really good. Yeah, so um, we're we're trying to bring together the two um event budget and project budget since we now have project budget back, um. So we have like a really simple design to like that will show everything about DI budget. Um, just the homepage. Um, and then events you can you can click on them. Yeah, they're all clickable. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So have like the about event budget, you know, how it works, and then another page about like the bad events. And then if you go to project budget, um, so we have like the, you know, all these details. Um, some of the text I think we need reworking, but we'll work on that. Um, then the page where um for up uh, they apply for badge, I think where um GitLab and GitHub appear as uh as um options for people to use that screen is what Kinsley is working on. It's not that that doesn't work yet. Okay. So it worked but like, it went somewhere if you click on it. Oh really for me it did. Oddly okay. enough. Yeah. Where did Sometimes it come to it's taking a second. And it's oh. like you have to click on it just right, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Say like a magic think... word. Use your magic mouse. <laughs> It yeah. So click on click on event badging once, and then click on project badging. Just go ahead and click on it. Yeah, that's not. Click Are you on. using Firefox, Ruth? Um, I use Chrome. Maybe just reload. Okay. Load the page. Yeah, because yeah, I've had I've had issues with Firefox occasionally, just like stopping to respond to clicks. And then click on project badging. And click on oh, apply. Oh, yeah, it actually, it actually goes, <laughs> it actually works for me. Like, it goes somewhere. Oh, there we go. There we go. So this is, this is where Marco, this is where the, I'm guessing the PR starts to come into play. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah and I, I think I'm going to have to remind uh, Kinsley that we are not removing GitLab totally. <laughs> so, because there's only one button here. So. Yeah, yeah you'll so be able to log in with GitLab or GitHub, I assume. Yeah. So there'll be two buttons. Yeah. So yeah. can you try to click on the uh, login? Oh, sorry. Oh wait, let me go back. Oh, can I go back? No, you can't go back. Just okay. Hold up. Sorry. Go back to pro. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Apply for a badge. Okay. Project badging. Apply for badge. Here we go. Okay. Now what? Yeah. Can you click on the login if it works? I'm not sure it does. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, it all works. I, I didn't know that. So that this is, yeah, so this is what happens. Um, okay, so all the screens work. So, um, so Marco, these are like the screens that we're going to use for the front end part. Um, but I'll, I think I'll just um, message you once that is ready. Um, because like we have all, the front end team is already working on kind of updating what you see currently on the when you go to the URL. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Perfect. Cool. This looks amazing, by the way. Yeah, I, I really <laughs> like the design. No, uh, the design work that Kingsley did here is phenomenal. <laughs> Having that one brand for both badging things, that's really great. I like the simplicity of it too. Like this is just the landing plate page page. And then Please. badging, project badging, and FAQ. Yeah. That's it. I, agree. I like the GitLab logos everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll change a little bit, just so you know. I wasn't going to say anything about that. I was... <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, to this point, maybe, um, Ruth, you should mention to Kingsley, like, founding partners is, yeah. is GitHub. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then... You know, just like GitLab is our, you know, they they had provided the equalizing partners or yeah, something like that. 
Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll just provide that feedback. Thank you. Okay. Um. So yeah, that's that's about the website updates, and then for the badges, um, we also had like um the all in open like all in as part of the badge. So we had like these variations that are sent to Matt. Um. So I I think we were going with the first one, since he has like chaos di. That looks like, good. Yeah, more descriptive. So that's like the the first one we're going with. I don't know if anybody has any um other comments. Like this is how the badge will look like, like when I guess I one question I had, these look great. I I, I do like the upper left hand corner. Um for the founding partner, this is for like Elizabeth and or Ruth. Would it be get hub or all in okay that's a great question actually i will verify that okay yeah let me just put a little uh actually i'll put it down here Great question. If, uh, if they're Heman and Han, Elizabeth, you could point out that we're going to have a login with GitHub function and a login with GitLab function. So it's not like there won't be any GitHub presence if they want to use all in. Okay. You know, Fair so enough. that might let them split the difference and not have seven meetings about it. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Okay. Well, that looks great. Thanks for the update. And so um i think ruth we were kind of planning on maybe like a week from today to meet up again yeah okay does that work for you still yeah i like to meet up um we're hoping like everything um will finish up by then but the front end team is already working and based on like how simple the pages are we mm -hmm. can we should be able to hit that that next week Okay. And I feel like a lot of the, once the front end is done, like a lot of the back end functionality for scanning for the DEI.md file, like it, yeah. it's already all there. Yeah, it yeah, all, it all, all works. works. We just need to plug it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, cool. Ruth, I will just um, bring attention to this part in case no one has um said anything under event badging where it lists badged events that piece is not functional to my knowledge so this pagination part it all goes in the readme now of the repo of the badging repo under the event DEI. so if they're trying to make this happen i don't think that that's going to happen so they may they can just link if they click on this they can link for now to the readme Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's, yeah, I I think that's smart. I do think, Ruth, is it on Kingsley's plate possibly to look at bringing that data over? Because some of the bot actions that he created for project badging would, you know, the event badging version of scraping a readme is much simpler. I'm just wondering if it's fruit. Yeah, I agree, Matt. It's not it's not something to do. It's not a release barrier. It just yeah. maybe something to put in the backlog. I think that's fair. Yeah, I just so, wanted to bring that up. Yep. Yeah, yeah, so we should just link it for now. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. You could even link it yeah. right to this heading. So right here would be the actual link. Okay. Can, I'll, put it in the, I'll put it in the minutes here. Yeah. So we do not have any page for it, just like the link, just links all badged events. For now. Still, I think you could still have the tab. That yeah. You have. It would just, instead of showing a table, it would just point to that URL that Elizabeth is putting in. Mm hmm. Because that's, yeah, that's going to be a whole nother. Because um, the bot right now adds them to the readme, no problem. But yeah, we don't, I think it would be harder to have it added to an yeah. X page. Okay. That's simple enough. Um... 
even thinking of something similar for project badging <laughs> but yeah that's simple enough yeah probably so at least for now if it's easier to kind of track them all just in a repository with the bot like a markdown file something mm -hmm. yep exactly just like what events do yep yeah sean go ahead as as we've moved repositories around and stuff um like for this issue now that we have a unified badging entry point where would the where would i put an issue to remind enoch and i to address this question in the future so that we would actually look at it because there's like at least two different places there's the project yeah, badging that's the... it yeah that's sorry sorry for cutting short you, no you go ahead Ruth. Yeah, that's a good question, Sean, because we kind of like had a meeting yesterday and we're kind of like having this conversation. Um, so Elizabeth, can you go to the badging, like the badging org itself? Like no, no, badging org. Um, yes. So we have like um, for example, the the badging projects, like if you scroll down, home of DI badging, that's the mm -hmm. event badging website. No, not that yeah. one. The Badging, yes, Just that badging. one. Badging, yeah, badging. One. Yeah. <laughs> so, it made so, yeah. sense when there was one kind of badge. Yeah. So, so this 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 code here is for the event badging website. You know, we had a whole website for event badging, right? That was being built up. Um. So what is going to happen? Um. I think it's us archiving this because um that whole website won't be functional again after we um after we kind of like update um you know that whole new field um the the one on the figma so this is going to be archived and then yeah. you can go into the org and i i agree with matt's comment in text ruth that let's not do that now yeah we are not doing it now yeah sure yeah but so yeah hold on i'll let you continue if you, to, if you go to project badging the first one um now this is what will be renamed as the main badging website because like a lot of like all the functionalities I think that project badging had um is on here. So this is kind of like where um we would rename back to like I don't know what we want to call it this time, <laughs> but maybe DI badging or something, but this is where um you know most of all the functionalities. Will will it include the functionality for event badging, Ruth? Um, functional. I think just the website piece. Um, okay. and and that will also determine like if we eventually start using the websites to take in applications in the future for event badging. So I know right now what we just still do is the issue GitHub issue, um, flow, right? Um, where you know they paste the whole text on a GitHub issue, but right now with what we have um the only piece of like event button i see here is the website like the page right um so renaming this to you know i don't know the name we would use but like i think it's something we can think about later when we have everything up but yeah that's uh, sure done um would, would it be would it make sense then if this is kind of what we're focused on going forward to enable issues for this repository and i can yeah, so this is where I think this is where the issues. I think that was your question. Oh my god, yep. <laughs> totally <laughs> answer. Okay. But, but yes, that's this is where potentially like all the issues will come in, right? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable issues on this repo and then open one. Oh, the issues are not enabled by default. I I guess not. <laughs> I noticed they were disabled. I didn't know if it was on purpose. Oh wow! Do you know that? So I did okay. see Enoch join the call. Hi, Enoch. We have been waiting for you. <laughs> Hi. <Amy. laughs> oh my God. Uh, Ruth just called me and I was on to something else. So it took me long to join in. So Enoch, I think maybe the, the biggest thing is just, I'm sorry. Did my computer die or did Enoch's? 
Yeah, I think he got muted or something like he's on mute. Um, yeah. we can hear you though. Are You're you muted? Um, okay, I'm gonna just type a message to Enoch. I just put it in the chat. It's just Enoch, there's the the one like number four PR. No. Not that one, but just to address the PR. Okay, I, 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 I don't know what's wrong with my network. I... Okay, I think we, we hear you now. Could we connect at 5 a.m. Uh, Chicago time tomorrow, Enoch? I, I think that would be good because I can imagine that Enoch and I will take at least 10 to 15 minutes to have our discussion. And you probably all don't want to listen on, in on that unless you do. I'm happy to go. He said, yeah, send an invite. Okay. So then, Marco, after that conversation, we should be ready to go with those PRs. Sounds good. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know. Um, how is it now? I hear you now. Yeah, really good. Oh my, sorry about that. Probably the meeting knows I wasn't ready for it. Um, yeah, Sean, I, I think you can send me an invite. I'm going to be available. And Do also, right now. I'm not sure. Did I skip something that needed my my input or we? It was just this coordination. It, it was just this coordination between us, which we've been going back and forth in Slack kind of slowly. And we just wanted to get a bow on it and set up um, time. So I think we've done that now. Cool. And I'm not sure. I think Ruth, we met with Ruth yesterday. And Enoch, you're cutting out again. Was it my you know today's not your lucky day sorry <laughs> well sean it sounds like just then <laughs> yeah i did it's already done yeah okay. I, i've already enoch has invited we're talking tomorrow that's all good so we can okay hit the next item thanks enoch Okay, we're good. Yep. Okay. That was actually good for me because I had a delivery. And so all the dogs are barking, the doorbells are, everything was <laughs> happening. And they're still barking. Okay, anyway. Um, so uh, I'm going to come back to this location inclusivity metric for a minute, uh, if that's okay. Um, I just want to mention really quick the about the onboarding courses. So we have um, a contributing file ready to go. We do have a list of issues as well. If you're interested in helping out with this project, we have a lot of things to do. So if you see something that looks interesting to you, um, if you have not filled out this, uh, there's a form you can fill out and then someone will, in, you should indicate your interest and someone will assign it to you. Um, a lot of it is script writing um, and then recording of some of these videos. So if you wanna write, but you don't want your face or you don't want your voice on video, that's completely fine. Um, or if you aren't sure about something, but you want to record because you like to do that, absolutely fine. Um, or if you want to do both, you could also sign up for both. So um, that's what that's about. We are using the Chaos Zoom uh, in, during our break here um, to reserve blocks for folks so that they can do recording unfettered and uh, uninterrupted. And we will set the chaos zoom to automatically record as soon as you enter the room. So if you are using chaos zoom for something else, just beware that it's going to get recorded. And that's so that we don't have to have an admin. Sorry. If, they, if somebody selects a time here, does it automatically set up a chaos calendar invite with all the stuff? It does. It does. And then you could, if you wanted somebody else to be in the room with you, you can do that as well. Um, and it'll send an invite, I believe, to them too, or you can forward or include them. Um, but yeah, it'll send you an invite for your calendar. It does not show up on the big main calendar. Okay. Um, that looks all blank, but okay. Um, yeah. So can you click on one? I've never seen this. That's yeah. All. 
Yeah, I did one for um, this. I should put this on the agenda. We are going to have a uh, little just end of year hangout. And so I reserved a block for that. Mm -hmm. so you, it, that's what it looks like you we have here the course you are recording. Um, so I'll just say hi. <laughs> and then when you hit book, this may go to my personal calendar, actually. So okay. huh. nobody look, <laughs> but it will send an event to okay. you. Yeah, there we go. OK, so to send an email and I've just never seen this. Mm -hmm. okay. And then when you get your email, it has all of the information and stuff. So, yeah, it's like calendary. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Calendly, Calendly, yeah. whatever. Yeah. yeah, it is. It's pretty cool, actually. OK, yeah. I've used it, too. So, OK, I didn't even know this is a feature. Elizabeth, yeah. is this for the chaos project Gmail? No, this is well. Which what which Gmail is this under? Just so I would might might not overlook, or is it under your Gmail? Which is it'll totally be under fine. whatever you are logged in as. Oh, okay. Wherever, however you reserve it is what like it'll come to you personally. So it would okay. go to like your Sean Goggins email if you All click right. on one of these. Okay, cool. What I don't know is if I cancel, if it'll give that block back. <laughs> so I have taken a block for just saying hi to myself. So I will try to get that back, but yeah. But as you can see now, it's no longer available. So nobody else can have it at that time. I mean, in theory, somebody could enter. Still, I don't think it blocks. I don't think it sets a password. Um, but, you know, it's not perfect. So maybe we can tweak that a little bit to just keep people from as yeah. much as possible interfering with others, uh, you know, on accident. I don't think anybody's doing it on purpose. Um, but yeah. Um, so I just wanted to let, let that um, uh, come up and then uh, the list of issues as well is I already linked to that um, and then if you want to see the list of topics, this is what we're thinking about right now. Um, content ideas right here and then we're kind of bucketing them um, this way, so what you may find in our learning management system is like okay here's all the courses on software. Uh, here's everything on metrics. Uh, here's everything on metrics models, um, something like that. So we'll, we'll play around with it a little bit um, to see kind of how it works, how we like it. Um, but, you know, again, this is a grand experiment for us. So it's going to be a lot of iteration and a lot of just playing around with it to see what we like. Questions, comments, anything about that? We talked a little bit yesterday in the community call just about how we might want to think about um, courses together as like groups of three or four courses that are mm -hmm. addressing a particular thing. Just want to bring that up here. Yeah, and I think that's what we'll use this keyword for. Okay. Tags. Like, so we would lump all the software together. Gotcha. If we have, you know, more of like, here's how to install Augur, here's how to contribute, like how whatever we end up building out in the future would go under this bucket. Gotcha, that makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh my, she's still barking, can you hear? Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, so you, you know awesome. you're barking. <laughs> I don't even think, she, this is the puppy on puppy say, I don't even think she knows what she's barking at now. She's just like, yeah, I'm out here. This feels barking. good. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of my voice, that's all right. Um, yes, and I put this here too. So I think for this, we will also lean on you, Matt, and other professors in the community <laughs> to help us uh, really optimize how we structure that since, you know, that's kind of your gig. That's kind of what y'all do. So. Oddly, professors never really get training on how to do classes. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Strange. <Yeah. stuff. laughs> I, I actually did at Drexel. Like, they, they put me through a whole junior professor regimen yeah. there. I don't remember any of it, but I remember going through it. Compared with like what high school teachers do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not even close. Um, and then one final thing, just to mention, we will have live streaming ChaosCon in Brussels. Did you want to talk about that at all, Matt? Uh, yeah, just that um, there was an individual, so Sean is going to be working. Hopefully um, this yes. person is going to be able to join us um, from Chaos Africa to provide live streaming and Sean, hopefully you've had a chance to connect yep. with him. We have uh, connected. Great. As of 5.30 this morning. Okay. I'm just really happy that it looks like some, this is something we're going to be able to provide just even without sponsorship dollars. This is just something we can provide through the grant support that we have.
Cool. Um, and then the final thing is we do have about eight minutes. I wanted to um, put this out here and I, I wish we did have a little bit more time. Um, this was brought up earlier. Uh, Ruth uh, sent it around to a few of us. Um, this is worth your time to read this. Um, this is an issue that's happening in the Python Software Foundation. And it's it's um, not a short read, but it is a very important read, and it's very 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 well written um, to understand the complexities and the frustrations of funding international conferences, especially um, those in Africa. Um, so I want to I was hoping to take some time in this meeting to give everybody a chance to read it, and then um, discuss how it will affect, if at all, our location inclusivity metric because that's kind of the central piece of this whole thing. Um, so I'll I'll drop this in here. Maybe we should stop the recording for a minute, just give everybody a chance to kind of read it.